Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthroughs. This is Gun Battle Operation 2, and this is a guest video from All with Sonic in the Full Armor Gundam Mark III. Uh, it is a 600 mobile suit with a whole bunch of different beam guns, all of which behave just slightly differently. Uh, the double, uh, the double viper, double hyper beam cannons. Oh yeah, off to a great start. Uh, double hyper beam cannons overheat on a single shot. They do pretty good damage. Um, the, the shoulder guns, uh, work like the Methesis beam pistols. They fire in short volleys or longer ones uh, that are more likely to stun if you charge them. Uh, it also has another set of guns, which I think are the leg guns, which work very similarly to the standard Gundam Mark III's, uh, cannons. On top of all that, it has a beam rifle, uh, an EPAC beam rifle, and with a grenade launcher. And also, um, it has the over uh, the overload skill that uh, the Rick DJ started with, and that applies to all three of its sets of paired cannons. So it can uh, it can dish out a lot of damage in a hurry, which is probably why Sonic titled this uh, particular round Daka. But yeah, it's it's pretty good. I know of, uh, I know uh, you know what I'm talking about here a little bit because. Uh, as always happens when somebody is nice enough to get me around with the week's mobile suit, I rolled it this afternoon. But luckily, I got a good ground round with it, so uh, I was going to run Sonics regardless because uh, he was nice enough to get this for me. But since I've got a ground round, that means, you know, not uh, no you know duplication of uh, effort there, so I can run that sometime soon. Um, as of this uh, recording, I think the Gundam Evolution uh, demo is pretty much about to end, or the, you know, ne uh, closed network test, I think it is. So, hopefully the game will actually come out soon. It's interesting, I don't think I'm going to make as much of a habit of it as I uh, do GBO2. I'm hoping, with my experiences of having to turn the graphics down all the way on... Uh, evolution to get OBS to work. I hope GBO2 will uh, let me get a couple of rounds on PC just to show it off when it's time. But, uh, meanwhile, back to the fight, which going pretty well. Uh, Sonic has done quite a bit of damage. It's currently 4300 to 1800, which is a, a good score to have this early in. Uh, I think that's a Z2 he's fighting at the moment, and, uh, yeah, just about any. Yeah, I was about to say, just about anything he's got should take huge chunks out of that because it is. Uh, yeah, it's a general. He's a support, and I, I the uh, former Mark III is a fairly spry support, so it's it's not bad. Um, people have said it looks kind of like a transformer. Somebody specified Star Saber. That doesn't surprise me since Kunio Okawara, who designed the Full Armor Mark III, along with the original Gundam and Zaku and a bunch of other things, um, was the uh, did the final pass on the Star Saber design. Uh, but, uh, yeah. It also just reminds me of this F90 stuff, which they were done at the same time, and with Okawara, a lot of the times when some, any two of his designs done in the same period will look the same, or not the same, but similar, uh, regardless of what time period within the Universal Century they're supposed to take place in. Uh, let's see, that is a uh, G4 booster, I think, that is trying to uh, fight Sonic. And did not succeed, but uh, something next to him got a shot off, so... Uh, let's see, it oh, was the Z2 again, so... Yeah, just, it must... Uh, between the G4 booster and the Z2 and, of course, the Full Armor Mark III, it just seems to be paired weapons day. But, uh, yeah, so far so good. Uh, 94, 95, 250, 90. That's, that's a good score for Sonic's team. And, but yeah, uh, the, uh, it's, like I said, it's a pretty solid machine, and since Overload affects all three sets of paired cannons, since they all have heat gauges, uh, you can really, uh, just pour damage onto something if you need to. Uh, I'd, I'd kind of want to uh, take it into uh, one of the boss fights at some point and just see how much uh, damage I can put out in a short period. But uh, I'd kind of like to see a challenge modes that uh, involve ship destroying at some point. Just because I think that could be an interesting uh, take. You know, just let us sink a Pegasus class, a Musai, you know, things like that. Let's sink the Dolos. That would be a, that would be a fun challenge stage. But, uh, 
yeah, that, like I said, it's got got good weapons. It's uh, I think it's space compatible, like so many things are. And uh, yeah, it it hits pretty hard. Yep, good damage there. EPAC rifle. Yeah, that's a Byron Custom, I think, that he's uh, hitting right now, so he's got type disadvantage and still doing really well and just pouring on the damage. Um, let's see, yeah, that's the big beam gun I think he just fired, and uh, it was enough to hold the Byron still for uh, uh, his teammates. That's good. Good charge shot on that Z2. And let's see. Yeah, the double beam cannons, I think the ones on the uh, knees are the ones that used to be on the uh, Mark III's uh, shoulders, I think. But there goes that Z2. There might be two of them now that I look at it. But uh, hard to say, but uh, 12,000 to 8,000, good lead with two minutes left. Almost killed it with the uh, Methus volley there. Um, you know, no relation to the actual Methus, but it really is almost exactly how the Methus' beam guns work in, in GBO2. Um, let's see. And, yep. Yeah, it's one of the, it's one of those things where once you hit with something, you can just combo all day. So, that's, that's one of the better kinds of supports at this point, because, j- uh, just, yeah, if you can... I, I think considering the amount of damage that a raid can do to you if you uh, if they get to you, I think stun locking them to death is perfectly fair. It's like whoever whoever connects first basically wins. Uh, that's you know that's that's about as fair as it gets uh, in the high costs. I feel like, and there is the pilot which Sonic uh, managed to line up with and uh, and uh, collide. So. And that's a minute left, so they're not going to be sneaking off towards the base to plant a bomb, because, uh, yeah, they're past the uh, past the point of no return on that. The bomb would not go off in time, so nothing left to do but fight it out, and Sonic's team has a really good lead for that. So, let's see. Uh, rifle, cannons, grenades, rifle... Yeah, you can just yeah you can just combo from weapon to weapon to weapon so so easily. Kind of surprised that I don't think it has the uh, skill that the uh, uh, Pale Rider D2 has that switching from one weapon on the Shekina to another uh, uh, gives decreased swap time. Um, I was uh, you could kind of do that here with like any uh, you know any paired weapons have decreased uh, decreased swap time. That would be interesting, but. Also might be overkill considering. Uh, let's see, Byron Customs closing in on Sonic with about 10 seconds left. If that if that saber shot had uh, hit, I think Sonic would uh, would make it. But yeah, Byron uh, managed to home on, in on him on him at the last second, but uh, still had a 4,000 point lead, so it only matters so much. So yeah, very nice, and yeah, it's a nice design. I like it. Uh, yeah. Good, great round, 5,200 points, uh, 900 assists, 124,000 damage. And, uh, let's see, what is, uh, kill count 7 to 2? Very nice. So that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Remember how I was saying that a lot of, uh, Okawaris designs from a general time period tend to look similar. Well, um, Star Saber was created for Transformers Victory, which ran in 1989, so that's the same basic time period as this Mark III and the F90 work, so yeah, that kind of tracks. <laughs>